You know, it seems like only yesterday they were talking about an economic collapse. Actually, it was just about yesterday. But yet we still see the uh, the continuation of the consumeristic uh, culture. Hello, I'm Alex Hansery. It is November 21st in the year 2017. These are the headlines uh, related to Black Friday, which is coming up on us uh, in about three days' time. It's not Black Friday yet, but the plash price slashing has already started. What to expect for Black Friday 2017? Why is Black Friday a thing? That's a good question. Uh, why do corporations like Walmart and others? I'll show you some other footage um, later on, perhaps tomorrow, you know, where people are like stampeding all these women are uh, into this lingerie type shop in a mall. You know, it's like they're all being baited in and the door's shut. It's actually very creepy and scary to watch humanity fall to this uh, particular level. What turns, this is a good one, Black Friday shoppers into raging hordes? Uh, that's actually what we're uh, going to look at first. And then we'll look at what type of crap is being sold this year. So they are asking the question, the New York Times. They've had several years to ask. I mean, it's obvious. Here they have the. Uh, Look at this. <laughs> and I'm looking at the article for the first time. You are being hypnotized. And so this is not a, a conspiracy theory. <laughs> you know, to talk about the, the consumeristic society. It is a mainstream meme that it's mind control to consume things that you don't need for holidays, uh, to be turned into these spectacles for Christmas, to be turned into what it is what it has become. You know what it's actually become for a lot of us? A very sad time. See people, uh, you know, celebrating materialism and and still it seems even during the holidays, there's a real lack of brotherly or sisterly love, even during the holidays. I'm actually going to be traveling uh, over the course of Thanksgiving, which is coming up here in a few days. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be in some rough places over the holidays. Let's see if the holiday cheer has uh, influences the vibes at the downtown Los Angeles Greyhound station, to which I'll be on a, a layover for a few hours. Uh, but uh, <laughs> a special thanks to those of you that are praying for me. I will be at a mall uh, in the not too distant future, not for shopping, but obviously for filming. For those of you that haven't seen my video regarding going to uh, the North Dallas. Texas Mall, and looking at that symbolism there and interpreting that, a lot of it I would call, you know, beyond human, just out of the ordinary. Uh, but let's read a little bit from the New York Times, definitely on the heels of my last video upload, which is a mirror from 2013. The New York Times writes, for the Black Friday faithful, the excitement begins on Thanksgiving when eager shoppers line up outside big box and department stores for the chance to grab doorbuster sales and price slashed merchandise when the doors open. Talk about a, a worker being trampled to death in 2008. What turns ordinary shoppers into dangerous mobs? Let's see what the New York Times author came up with. Social scientists and psychologists are trying to find out. We don't have to try very hard. Mass media mind control. The masses are susceptible to influence. Sharon Lennon, a professor in the merchandising program at Indiana University became interested in studying consumer misbehavior after seeing news reports a few years back about fights breaking out at her local mall. Customers were physically fighting with each other. It was chaos. And if you look at the most popular videos regarding Black Friday, it is literally this world star hip hop level. And as I've said before in other videos, people come together over the things that they hate. So there are some people that will be excited about Black Friday, potentially, for the idea of having a, a, a conflict and it being considered normal, normal for people to run like animals, um, you know, like, like it's a looting situation and also programmed by television. Think about, you know, Double Dare, Nickelodeon. Think about, uh, you know, um, th those game shows where people are trying to buy as much as possible. You know, people have been inundated with that and, and, and that type of consumeristic um, worship being rewarded and held up in this reality TV culture. That's where people need to be looking 
Anyway, for a study published in the uh, Clothing and Textile Research Journal, Sheena colleagues asked 189 Black Friday shoppers about their antics. Had they ever taken an item from another shopper's cart, yelled at store workers, or gotten into skirmishes with other customers, or overturned racks of merchandise? Many of the participants, who are primarily female, white, and well-educated, admitted behaviors like trashing displays or yelling at employees. Again, you're going to see that video I uh, commented over in 2013. I'll be mirroring that soon. Dr. Lennon speculates that feelings of unfairness drove many of these shoppers to behave the way that they did. Shopping and retail consumer relationship, she said, is expected to be um, equitable, an equitable exchange of good for payment. Any violation of the exchange can evoke strong feelings of inequality. <clears throat> okay, uh, when a store failed to properly stock advertised door busters, when sale prices weren't honored, uh, such as being denied an early bird discount at checkout, even though they were in line before the sale expired, or when they failed to obtain an advertised item or failed to receive the discounts they anticipated, Black Friday shoppers were most likely to misbehave. This is uh, an entitlement behavioral problem right there. They are entitled to a particular deal or discount. <laughs> oh boy, in a follow-up study, but but they create it. Take a look at the story that I report on them at a McDonald's with Szechuan sauce. There are people that were basically riding at McDonald's because McDonald's ran out of a special sauce. Literally, and that sauce is sold at a high rate, whatever the Szechuan sauce on eBay. So they can hype something up, control the supply. Control the supply, control the demand. Control the supply, limit the supply, increase the demand. Consumer competition arousal, again, boosted by the mainstream media. Consumeristic situation, competition, which they're potential winners and losers. Just like politics, you lost. <laughs> you know, I'd say there are some sore winners. Just get over it. You won. Get over it. All right, stretch your stuff. But don't forget, some of us didn't have a dog in the fight. We're beyond picking masters. So back off. Uh, continuing on, competitive arousal can be ignited by a perception that a specific good, such as a toy or a flat screen TV, right? Flat screen TV. Flat screen TV. Look at these two. No, this guy's tall, six five, seven foot. <clears throat> but look at that TV. Do you really need a TV like that? You live in Brooklyn. How big is your apartment, dude? How big is your apartment? Shoppers take advantage of a Black Friday sale at Best Buy in Brooklyn, New York, November 25th in the year 2016. Again, <laughs> I'm going to be traveling during the holidays. I'll be home for Christmas. Uh, yeah, so what are the best TV deals of Black Friday to that? We're almost there. What else can we learn from this study? Black Friday rituals can create a sense of tribal bonding. Ah, <laughs> tribalists, consumeristic tribalists, people coming together over the tribe of consuming, say, uh, Fallout, say, Call of Duty, a tribal bonding, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, in this day and age of people literally driving into crowds of people. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Ten-year-olds, like, literally, like, replaying Grand Theft Auto scenes. For real. I felt it was part of the game. I'm a princess. Black Friday shoppers, too, may exhibit a similar heightened sense of competition that can lead to such behaviors as shoving other shoppers and taking goods from another customer's cart. Such behavior is simply perceived as a way to win. Win. You lost. I won. With both spectators and shoppers descending on the stores, Dr. Nichols said that stores need to have a plan for handling crowds and reducing violence. Stores want people to come in and get excited. Unfortunately, all too often, many don't consider what might happen. Just remind yourself, no special deal is worth getting hurt over or hurting someone else. So that's the New York Times and then we know what they didn't cover, right? So it could just be out in the open, right? But they don't hold the marketers or the advertising firms responsible. They're still going, hmm, all these, these strange little humans here on the earth 
they're really competitive. Like, yeah, they have mental problems. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> people are pouring gasoline on the problem. Now, let's take a look at what type of stuff's being sold. All right. Is there anything that you're desiring this year? Maybe this jacket? I'm packing light this year, but what's at the B&M Home Store? What are the bargains? It looks like this is a chain in the UK. Shout out to our uh, audience members in Europe. What are the best deals at B&M? Um, they're going to be dropping the price of a coffee machine. Why don't you already have a coffee machine? You know, you can do an off-grid coffee machine with like a hand crank grinder. There I go. I'm already getting off topic. Also in the mix is a Hoover cordless. You know what I want? I want a hand crank off the grid blender. Something that'll just break up ice. I don't know. It's got to be out there somewhere. I just get my hand going fast enough and, and get that thing broken up here. All right. What are the best deals at BNM? Um, continuing. Do, 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 blah, 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 blah. This is not very exciting. <laughs> wow, look at that. Your computer. You need a new computer, buddy. That was it. Look, that's what the sun, what's this alien chick? More alien chick nonsense, Nephilim programming. But yeah, here we got the sun here. Look at that. Was that very impressive? Now, let's go over here. Ooh, it's enough. Literally, how, how high can you get off flat screen TVs? Like, literally, they've been around for a while. Like, well, you don't really need one. Get a friggin' computer. Why? Why? Is your bud better? Is your alcohol better? When it's a big screen, I guess it is. Here's this guy. Ooh, look at that, the football. Ooh, 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 ooh. You, uh, uh, you, uh, uh. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess, yeah, home team. I mean, look at this here. Uh, Black Friday, the best the best TV to buy on, literally. All right, $1,500 for a 55-inch model. It's down $100. And then you can get a 65 uh, 4K HDMI smart TV for $799. And then, you know, I can learn, though. Things I haven't even known about that you get limited HDMI ports. Check to find how many HDMI ports do you friggin' need? I mean, this is literally a tutorial how to buy a friggin' TV. This is idiot. Limited HD. They literally made an article. They literally made an article to let you know if you want a big screen TV with all the HDMI ports, the, the bells and, and, and whistles, the thing where you can just push a button and the mist comes out and knocks your ass out. It's limited. It's limited. FYI, this is news. Check the refresh rate. Screw you, refresh rate. You know? You see those people won't act like a you know a joker with their baseball bat smashing the TV. Look, some of those people are just repeating mainstream media talking points and, and they they have no place to talk. It's like, you know, where's homie from In Living Color? Homie don't play that. It's not Black Friday yet, but the price slashing has already started. <laughs> Black Friday sales are expected to hit $682 billion this year as people orgasm on top of images of President China's uh, Z and, and Donald Trump singing Kumbaya together, doing like the joint New World Order handshake with all the other Asian leaders. Yeah, that's great. We're not at war. But they really are building a world government through these trade deals. It's dancing with the devil. It is the ultimate globalism on steroids. Of course, they're cooperating because there's a lot of money to be made right now in the stock market in this bull run. Now, some people say there's a warning sign there that we've been we've been riding the hog. We've been riding the hog for a long time since the 2008 2009 gangster bankster bailout fiasco question is what are we going to see now how long is this going to continue but yeah you know it is definitely a 1929 gravy train i'm not predicting the economic collapse tomorrow i would not want to see that in my own life that would complicate things for each and every one of us but um but we are seeing we are seeing success if you will in the stock market for those that are investing in consumerism for this particular moment in time you know, for, for those that are reaching a lot of people um, on YouTube, it isn't actually a bad time to be on YouTube the holiday season. 
I don't earn very much, but for those, right, that reach a lot of people, you know, the holidays does bring, for example, more money to YouTube for the content creators because of the ads. It is ad season. It is Black Friday. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. Our nation's economy is on fire. It, it is a ticking time bomb. Um, a, a strong uh, stock market, which is good for Walmart, JC Penney, Sears, Target, Best Buy. You know, it, that is not necessarily good for us. Um, the tablet addiction is not necessarily good for us. You know, I see people out there. And I'm not perfect. I've suffered from internet addiction. That's one of the reasons that I'm, I'm going to take a trip is to get away from covering so much, you know, political stuff and feeling isolated. I'm going to go out and see the world. You know, I'm going to go out and observe people consume in their natural habitat here on earth, this Petri dish that the flat earthers forgot to look at for what it is and really go down the rabbit hole and wonder what is this matrix? Why are we here? But yeah, I mean, that's a no brainer. Just because it's good for the corporations doesn't mean that the U.S. economy and the debt is reaching some sort of um, resolution. And, and what are the top mind control video games this year? I'm curious. Uh, it talks about computers, cameras, sports, equipment. Black Friday is still king with 115 million eager Americans planning to make the most of doorbuster sales and other low prices. Kohl's, JCPenney, Wallet Hub. According to data from Adobe, shoppers looking for tablets, appliances, TVs, and jewelry should buy online on Black Friday. On a similar note, it recommends waiting until Cyber Monday, whenever the hell that is. I guess that's after Black Friday, uh, to buy toys online, right? Like those little monster zombie alien dolls, right? Training little girls to get on the pole off on alien offshore planets at the earliest age possible. So yeah, there we have it. <coughs> Excuse me. So what else? What else are we going to look at? And then we'll close, right? Oh, I'm, I'm just getting my audience excited. So again, 75-inch TVs, 55-inch TVs, 70-inch TVs. What you want? A 50-inch, 70-inch, 55-inch? I give you blah, blah, blah. But, but, but the question is, which one of them hooks into the back of your head? Maybe next year we'll have some additional items to promote. For now, I am Alex Ansary. Signing off. Subscribe if you're new. Support if you can. Get ready for a road trip. And I will see you in the next video.